Salvete omnes. Let's continue with the Aeneid, Book 2. Leacurun, ductus Neptuno sorte sacerdos, solemnis taurum ingentem mactebat adaras, ecce autem geminia tenendo tanquila per alta horesco referens, emensis oribus angues, incumbunt pelago partiter que ad litura tendunt. Laquan, having been drawn as a priest by lot for Neptune, was sacrificing a huge bull at the customary altars. However, behold, twin snakes through the calm sea from Tenedos with huge coils lie upon the sea and Equally, they strive towards the shores. So, the basic idea of what's happening in these lines, Laocoon was sacrificing a bull, and then we see these huge snakes approaching from the sea. They're coming towards the land, they're coming for Laocoon. Now up here we have having been drawn by Lot as a priest for Neptune. I know I stated in one of my previous videos that Laocoon was a priest for Apollo, that's because traditionally, in traditional myth, Laocoon was a priest for Apollo, but Virgil differs from this, and in his narrative, Laocoon was a priest for Neptune. And it has ha says having been drawn by Lot, so basically Lots were drawn, and he was picked as a priest for Neptune. So he was sacrificing Maktabat Taurum Ingentem, a huge bull, at the traditional altars. Now, here you can see some A, B, B, A. I would say there's some chiasmus in this line. A, B, B, A. Now we have Eke, behold, or autum Eke, but behold, Gemini Angues. Notice how far away Gemini is from Angues. He puts it all the, the snake word all the way at the end of the next line. So it builds some suspense whenever you're hearing this. If you were a reader reading or listening to this, you see Gemini, and so they're twin something. Two somethings are coming. And then they have, you, here they have huge coils. Aeneas shudders, remembering. And they come through the tran tranquil, tranquil, calm sea from Tenedos. And then you hear, they're snakes. And you're scared. There's these huge snakes coming for Laocoon. Now, I know I forgot to translate this part in my first read-through, so I'll do it now. I shudder remembering. I shudder recalling. Notice this part's in parentheses. It's because it's Aeneas, because he's the speaker of book two. He's interjecting in here and saying, oh, I shudder remembering this part, you know. So now these twin snakes from Tenedos through the tranquil sea with huge coils. I would say this is probably an ablative of description with huge coils. Lie upon the sea. So they're on the crest of the sea, they're traveling over the sea. And equally, they strive towards the shores. So they're coming for Laocoon. 